change refers to the long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns. These shifts may be natural, such as through variations in the solar cycle. But since the 1800s, human activities have been the main driver of climate change. Activities such as burning of solid waste in open spaces such as landfills and indiscriminate cutting down of trees are among the most common activities in homes, schools and communities that contribute to climate change. Burning of waste in open spaces results in the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, whereas deforestation results in the release of stored carbon back into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. Also a greenhouse gas which contributes to climate change when released into the atmosphere. An international treaty on climate change, which is legally binding by the name Paris Agreement, has been signed by most countries in the world. Currently, 193 parties, 192 countries, including Ghana, plus the European Union, have joined the Paris Agreement. The agreement includes commitments from all countries to reduce their emissions and work together to adapt to the impact of climate change and calls on countries to strengthen their commitments over time. As a contribution to the objectives of the agreement, countries including Ghana are committed to comprehensive national climate action plans, nationally determined contributions, NDCs, and the objective of Ghana's NDC is to reduce emissions by 15 to 45 percent below business as usual, BAU, and strengthen climate resilience in close alignment with its development priorities. The key mitigation to climate change is reduction in emissions, role of cities, regions and local authorities. The agreement recognizes the role of non-party stakeholders in addressing climate change, including cities, other subnational authorities, civil society organizations such as COP Nation Foundation, the private sector and others. We are invited to scale up our efforts and support actions to reduce emissions, build resilience and decrease vulnerability to the adverse effects of climate change, uphold and promote regional and international cooperation. It's unfortunate that waste management in Africa at large hasn't seen much improvement, unlike the situation in other continents. Indiscriminate cutting down of trees and low interest in afforestation activities cannot be less emphasized. Lack of waste segregation at primary sources lead to mixture of waste and eventually burning of waste in open spaces, thereby releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. A situation that is common even in first-class schools where our future leaders are being nurtured. You guys are from one. From three. Punished. I just help you. You're helping. So how often do you take these bins out? As and when they are full. But you don't so know. So roughly, averagely, how often? Like in, every, every, every day. day. Okay. And every day it gets full. Yeah, every day. Then every day you put all the waste together, brush, umbrella, <laughs> plastics. <laughs> Plastic uh, bottle, chale water. But this way clean up the washroom. Oh right. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. The multi-million question then is when will the narrative change? It is in light of this that the COP Nation Foundation, after its cleanup campaign during the year of its establishment, 2021, came up with the 4R Plus initiative to address these challenges and ultimately contribute to the world's effort to combat climate change in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, SDG number 13. The initiative as well addresses SDGs 3, Good Health and Well-Being, 8, 
decent work and economic growth and 17 partnership to achieve the goal. Cop Nation Foundation chose to begin the implementation of this initiative in schools as we believe that further to changing the narrative of waste management, sanitation and deforestation in schools, the students will extend the practice of the initiative to their homes and communities with a little guidance. An approach that makes it possible to propagate the initiative with relatively less effort. The initiative was launched at the alma mater of the founder and CEO of COP Nation Foundation, Mr. Xavier Kweku Ajika, COP CV, that is Ghana Secondary Technical School, GSTS Intercredit Ghana. We haven't taken it upon ourselves as individuals to come up with initiatives, especially to support the government intervention. What we do is to continue to handle our waste in the way our forefathers did to date. We have come to accept waste as a byproduct of our waste activities. What we have not come to terms with is its disposal. John Darwin says it is not the strongest of the species that survives, but the one that is most adaptive to change. It is based on this that I find the 4R Plus initiative by Cop Nation as not only an initiative but a great venture. When you look at Ghana, um, research suggests that we lack credible data or statistics in respect of our waste generation. And when you don't have enough authentic or credible statistics, you have difficulty planning because you are unable to do key projections or correct projections based on which you can have opposite or necessary interventions or programs or plans to help solve potential problems that um, are, you know, at times crop up in the future. Mixing of waste is not a good practice. Now, the term segregation is nothing huge, but it means separation of waste. Now, we want GSTS or every individual here to start practicing separation of waste. We want you to separate your waste. And with doing so, Gulf Nation Foundation came up with an idea where we are using car ties as bins. It's outside. Now, we want to let you also know the essence of using these car ties. Not just burning them and creating pollution across. But you can use these ties to do even chairs. And that's why we make bins out of this. So we have four separated bins. We have the plastics, we have the paper, we have the general waste, and we have the uh, glass as well. So every house in GSTS is going to have four bins to practice this segregation. As an assembly, we support proper sanitation, waste segregation, and management practices in schools and communities. As we all know, in STMA, we spend over 80% of our revenue on waste management. So this initiative will really help us since we can use the, the monies for other development in the region. So if we practice personal hygiene, it will help our sanitation and ourselves mentally, physically to embark on this project. So as an assembly, we are, we are very happy and privileged to support COP Nation on this initiative. COP Nation is doing a great, great, great deed and service to the nation. And as Forestry Commission, our main mandate is to protect, manage, and leave a better forest resource for the generation to come. And our activity and what is being done here, it's all to support the environment, to protect the environment. Even today, you go to some parts of the forest and then you find plastic waste, and it's not easy to handle. So I think this initiative is a good one, and we're here to support. I noticed their vision when I walked in. And I would like all of us, those who can read, those up front who can read the vision stated on their board. 
they said they envision a world where you, the youth, whose potential we are here to actually to employ, to equip, and to inspire. So if you are not inspired, then I don't think you should be here. The four main um, executives of the city. I'm Ahimka David Obobi, the senior prefect of GSTS and also the president for Saving the Planet Club. The initiative has been very beneficial in terms of the amount of volume we've been able to accrue with regard to plastics. To me, I am not surprised that we've been able to accrue this amount of volume in the sense that we always produce this volume or before the initiative was actually established. This was something that was bothering the school in terms of waste management because plastic contributed to, to the major part of the volume that we accumulate each week and it was actually costing the school much. So with this initiative, it has been very beneficial to the school. Mr. Champo Nathaniel, uh, patron of the club, GSTS. We've lifted about 900, almost 1,000 kilos. 900, 900,000 kilos. It's a very good job because we've reduced our waste to that le level. That kilogram level is better because if if uh, at least we have a drastic reduction of waste on campus, thousand kilos is gone out of uh, campus and is bringing us money income, then it's better because it's a nice project. My name is Emmanuel Insha Trefi, a member of the Saving the Planet Club. I've been taught and educated about how to segregate waste, its benefits, and how it is going to benefit the school and the student body as a whole, and how it's also going to save the planet from some bad effects that is not going to help us. And how plastic is also going to be recycled to produce goods that are going to benefit the country as a whole. Uh, ever since uh, Cop Nation came here and introduced uh, this approved technology way of uh, segregating uh, waste. It has kept our campus very much. I would tell all other heads to join. That's our general secretary of Ghana Secondary Second House School. Their waste management was a very big problem because almost every week they had to empty the containers. And the containers um, had a lot of plastics, which includes the rubbers and the general plastics. So in segregating the plastics, it has also helped the school save money and it's also benefiting the school in a way. So it's like we, we are letting go of certain things and it's also bringing us certain things. Hi. I am Barnabas, this project leader at GSTS. In many homes today on this continent, plastic seems to be the next door neighbor. We are complaining every day about being swallowed by plastic waste in our homes, places of work and worship. The consumption rate for plastic products is increasingly alarming because we use plastics every day. But what can we do? I believe the immediate best remedy to this canker 
is to recycle these plastic waste and make some new product out of them. But it starts with segregation. The reason this initiative has been launched and should be extended to so many schools and communities across the continent. The desire change for our planet begins from now with you and I. Let's recycle our plastic waste and save our planet. Hi there, it's my pleasure to share with you Synopsis of Cop Nation Foundations for our Plus Initiative. And in that regard, saving the planet with the For Our Plus Initiative as its associated project. Our For Our Plus Initiative is a self-driven initiative. It's a self-sustainable initiative. We piloted this at GSTS School in Takaradi. Cop Nation Foundation virtually spends no efforts to keep it driving and keep it moving on. We have put in mechanisms to autopilot the project. And this is what we intend to do across the continent of Africa. Our mission is to make Ghana the cleanest country and Africa a cleaner continent within the shortest possible time. Cop Nation Foundation for Our Plus Initiative stands out among every other climate change initiative. In line with SDG number 13, that is combating climate change, we have put in other elements to complement the likes of waste segregation that this initiative targets. In effect, we are tackling plastic waste from schools down to communities with this initiative. We have what we call patrons and drivers of the initiative. We are not to have our hands on these projects wherever we implement the project. GSTS School is enjoying internal generated funds from this initiative. Either to the school would be calling waste collection companies to come for their waste and pay for their service. Today, they are enjoying payments rather from the waste collectors who are interested in recycling plastic waste. It's disheartening to see effort and attempts, I will say good effort and attempts to upgrade our waste collection centers in the 21st century, and for that matter, in the year 2022. We see upgrade projects or upgrading projects of waste collection facilities with no attempts and no intention for us or to aid segregation of waste. This is so disheartening and as a continent, we need to rise up. Cop Nation for Our Plus Initiative is here for us. The project is that saving the planet, and this makes it all of us our project, because the planet is for all of us. We are tackling plastic waste from schools down to every community in Africa. And we know that as an individual, as an organization, at this point in time, you are convinced to join hands with us to make our continent, Africa, a cleaner one within the shortest possible time. Thank you. To support the 4R Plus initiative, kindly contact Cop Nation Foundation on 0540 395 750.